head of the Saudi embassy, calling for an end to U.S. weapons sales to Saudi Arabia, for an end to the war on Yemen. Saudi Arabia has been targeting civilians. Most recently, there was a bomb that was dropped in a school bus, killing 40 children and injuring more. Today, Secretary Pompeo certified or told Congress that Saudi Arabia and the UAE are not targeting civilians. And yet, the proof truth shows otherwise. Civilians are dying at rapid numbers. These bombs are targeting schools, school buses, markets, hospitals. And thousands of humanities are dying. And even more, face starvation because it has become the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. So we are here outside the Saudi embassy in a very solemn protest about the children who were killed on the school bus while they were on their summer vacation playing one minute, dead, maimed, screaming the next. And these blue backpacks were the backpacks that the children were wearing when they were on the bus. And you might have seen the pictures of the bloody children screaming with the backpacks still on. And that's why they become a symbol now of the Saudi children, of the innocent civilians who've been killed, the Yemeni children who've been killed by the Saudi bombing. We also are here because just today, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo certified that the Saudis we're doing everything in their power to protect civilians. Mm. And that the U.S. should continue to collaborate with Saudi Arabia because they were complying and trying to bring this war to an end. And Secretary of Defense James Mattis echoed the statement of Mike Pompeo saying yes, we will continue to work with the Saudis. And meanwhile, the deaths mount. Just two weeks after this August night bombing that left 44 children dead, there was another bombing that left 21 children dead. And the media didn't talk about that one. So these bombings are happening all the time and civilians are being killed all the time. And so we wanted to bring the responsibility for these dead children and the bloody backpacks right to the doorstep of the Saudi embassy. So let's put the packs on their steps, recognizing they are the ones responsible for what happened. The Saudis are the ones responsible for what happened. The responsibility lies with the people in here. They can take the backpacks away. These backpacks represent dead children. Think about that. They represent children who died because of the Saudi bombing campaign. And the blood is on the hands of the people in this embassy. Take them 
We are going to read the names of all of the children that were killed in that bus bombing. Muhammad Yahya, Yahya Faya, killed, 11 years old. Zakaria Abdel Wahab Ali Faya killed 10 years old. So we put a backpack up for each one. Ali Muhammad Hassan died, killed 10 years old. Yusuf Hussein Hussein Tayyab killed 15 years old. Ahmed Zaid Hussein Tayyab killed 12 years old. Ali Zaid Hussein Tayyab killed nine years old. Osama Zaid Ali Al Ahraman killed 13 years old. Ali Zaid Ali Al Ahraman killed 15 years old. Ali Abdul Rahim okay. Ali Hashem killed 12 years old. Turkey Muhammad Hassan Abadi killed 10 years old. Yusuf Abdul Aziz Ali Dahdawi killed 13 years old. Yuan's Abdali Aziz Al Dahwadi killed 11 years old. Yusuf Abdullah Saleh Al Hafaki killed 10 years old. Abdullah Hussein Fazal Hajj killed 12 years old. Hamid Muhammad Aida Hadi killed 10 years old. Yusuf Hassan Muhammad Al Dahab killed 9 years old. Abdul Malik Abdul Rahman Abdul Yahi killed 12 years old. Amjad Abdul Rahman Abdullah Al Deed killed 10 years old. Muhammad Abdul Salam Abdullah Al Zahiani killed 12 years old. Abdullah Abdullah Hussein Al Radai killed 11 years old. Muhammad Abdullah Muhammad Al Hakim killed 9 years old. Muhammad Abdullah Yahya Bedisa killed 12 years old. Hassan Abdul Karim Ahmed Al Hadi killed 10 years old. Ahmed Abdel Hakim Ali Amer killed 11 years old. Muhammad Abdel Salam Hassan Hori killed 9 years old. Yahya Mahdi Ez El Din Huri killed 12 years old. Hussein Muhammad Hassan killed 15 years old. Abdullah Abdullah Salam Abdullah Tarif killed 12 years old. Muhammad Yahya Muhammad Al-Aziz killed 8 years old. Yahya Muhammad Hussein Al-Azari killed 12 years old. Yusuf Saleh Abdullah al aqili killed 11 years old. Muhammad Saif Ali Salman killed 13 years old. Walid Abdullah Ali Ali Al Bulani killed 13 years old. Muhammad Abdul Hafiz Abdullah Din killed 28 years old. Yahya Hussein Yahya Al Bashiri killed 42 years old. Ali Hussein Hassan Al Hajiri killed 27 years old. Ali Salah Zaid Faya there were many more children and people wounded in that attack um, so let's just take a moment and just sit in silence
Okay, everybody. Sing for the mothers who live in Yemen, for their sorrow, for their love. We ache for the mothers who live in Yemen, for their sorrow, for their love. May their broken hearts be cradled, may their righteous anger be we sing for justice and healing for all of the mothers all over the world. We sing for the mothers who live in Yemen, for their sorrow, for their love. We ache for the mothers who live in Yemen, for their sorrow, for their love. May their broken hearts be cradled. May their righteous anger be heard. We sing for justice and healing for all of the mothers all over the world. We sing for justice and healing for all of the mothers all over the world. My name is Michael Beer with Nonviolence International in Code Pink. We're here to call on the Saudi government to stop its war on Yemen. We're calling on the United States to stop supporting this war on the people of Yemen. It's a civil war. We are not here taking sides in the civil war in Yemen, except for the sides of the people of Yemen who are being targeted by all sides. One of the problems we have here, why we're out here today, is because the Saudis and the United Arab Emirates and their allies are using American weapons and very powerful weapons to target civilians and civilian infrastructure on a massive scale, causing enormous suffering and making the civil war and hatred between Yemenis and Saudis worse. This is not a sustainable solution for the people of Yemen or for the people of Saudi Arabia. You're not gonna bomb your way to peace with your neighbors. We call on the United States government and the Saudi government to stop immediately the war, have a ceasefire immediately and to negotiate in good faith for an end to the slaughter and an end to the civil war. We know that the basis of all faith traditions is nonviolence non-violence, not the building of missiles and bombs and drones, not the teaching of our young people reflexive killing in high schools and in colleges, religious colleges as well. What we want for our children is a life full of flourishing, of gentleness, of joy and dignity. What we want is community on Holy Mother Earth. Amen.
So if we could hold hands. And think about the people who work inside this building, the police who are watching out for the people inside the building instead of turning around to watch out for us, the nonviolent peacemaker. If we could think about the people in the White House who only care about the money they're getting from the Saudi weapons sale. If we could think about the politicians, most of whom, unfortunately, take money from the weapons manufacturers for their campaigns, don't say very much about the destruction in Yemen or the repression in Saudi Arabia. And while we're here thinking about all the people who are dying in this war, let's also remember that within Saudi Arabia, there are people who are on death row for doing exactly the kind of thing that we are doing here, or less. There are people on death row, a woman on death row, who advocates for equality for women and against the repressive guardianship system. There are women in jail who did civil disobedience by getting behind the wheel of a car and driving that car. And now where the Crown Prince takes credit for, quote, giving women the right to drive, these women who fought for the right to drive are in prison. And let's remember that in the whole eastern province of Saudi Arabia, where the minority Shia community live, they are constantly under repression and leaders of that community have been murdered by the Saudi regime like Sheikh al-Nimr or are on death row, some of them arrested when they were teenagers, juveniles on death row for advocating nonviolently for the rights of the minority Shia community. So the fact that the United States government has been in bed with the Saudi regime, not just under the crazy Trump administration, but under that all so wonderful Obama administration, and under the Bush administration before that, and the Clinton administration before that, it's been a nonpartisan thing, making common cause with one of the only absolute monarchies left in the world because they have oil, because they have money, because they buy our weapons. And the bombing of the school bus is just one manifestation of that horrific alliance that has gone on for way too long. So I think unless there's anybody who wants to speak, is there anybody who wants to speak? What we're going to do is do some photos with the big banner that we have and um, end our protest with a commemoration of these children. <laughs>